Hi everyone, we are in the woods today. We've got a brand new living vehicle to share with you. This is the HD24. It's a brand new floor plan. Stay tuned. All right, so what's super cool about this tour, this is a never before seen floor plan, never before seen model. Take a step back and get a sense of what this thing looks like. This is a 24 foot long unit. Let's show people what this thing it's is. It's 24 feet. We've never done this before. We've always gone bigger. We've gone smaller. <laughs> the camera guy almost fell on the bushes. We're good though. Yeah. This is for adventurers. So we are out here in the woods. We have been playing all day in the sun yep. and we're gonna give you a look at just what this unit can do. So this is 24 feet. It's built to get out a little bit more nimble, a little bit more adventure focused. It's got a ton of cool features that we haven't done in any of the, our other units. Yes, and you might be thinking, why did you dum-dums park under this tree? Yep, oh, okay. good place to start. Because we are solar powered and we're not pulling in a ton of solar. Yep. Two good reasons. One, this tree is majestic and it's beautiful and it's, it's a perfect spot. Two, um, we have deployable solar. Yes. So, so first off, you know, you can hook up and a lot of times you're going to want to park underneath a tree like this, whether you're in a campsite or you're in, you know, off grid like this and you've got a great place to park, but you're not going to get a lot of solar in that. So you put your deployable solar out 30 feet away from your unit. You're still collecting solar. And of course, what do you have inside the unit? Um, batteries. Big batteries, yes. 72 kilowatt hours. This is a pro. Uh, HD24 and this has uh, just a huge bank so we can maintain so whether it's shade overhead or cloud cover you're going to be able to go for a lot of time. Yes because a lot of times we have traveled you know national parks, BLM land, campgrounds, what have you. Uh, maybe it's a cloudy day and you don't have solar so we kind of wanted to see what is that like um, when we have a lot of cloud cover and how long does our energy last for just off of the battery that we have fully charged. So let's uh, go take a take a look. We'll start with the outside. Of course, just like every other LV that we've done, this is the folding patio deck. This is a living vehicle feature like everywhere else. Uh, we love sitting outside, collapsible railing, just like every other LV we've ever done and uh, just designed for ease of use. It's automatic. So you push a button, it goes up, it comes down. Um, it's a great place for Luca to hang out, uh, stay away from getting all these burrs. She has just been completely loaded with this stuff, but that's what's really nice. It keeps you off the ground, keeps you in a protected environment. Yes, and there have been all sorts of animals here at night, coyotes, bobcats, things that I don't know what they are. So it's really nice to have her up here and safe kind of once it gets- Yeah, and you know where she is. You know, she's not running off and then yeah. hanging out. Same thing with kids, you know, hang out with your kids. Yes, don't your let pets. your children get eaten by a coyote, yeah. bad. So let's see, why don't we talk about solar awning. We've got two solar awnings on this unit. That's one of the features. Why don't you walk around the side here? We'll start with this. Of course, the powerhouse of the unit are the solar awnings. We've got one running down each side. Yes, so we are not plugged into anything. So yep. water, septic, mm -hmm. energy, we're running. Fully self-contained, running all the systems off of the energy bank. Yep, so we're fully electric with redundant propane. Absolutely. What's next? Um, generator compartment right up here. We also have dedicated batteries. So this is a hatch right up here. You know, why don't you come and take a look? So this is a dedicated battery, standard you know, battery here. That's not a lithium, that's just an AGM battery. But the reason we do that is because it's located on the exterior. AGM tend to be a little bit more robust so they can freeze more. They're not as sensitive as lithium. So all the lithium batteries are inside. This battery powers critical systems like solar awning, leveling jacks, hitch jacks. So if you need to get up and go for whatever reason, your energy system has a problem you're gonna have that one critical system always running. Cool. Um, tankless water heater. This compartment here, a 58 pound fixed propane tank would go in there. That's optional. It's not installed on this unit. Why don't you take a look at what's in that compartment, Joanna? So this is our systems bay. We have all of our dump valve, self-contained water systems inside there, access to water lines, water connection points, stuff like that. Not too exciting, but really nifty feature is this is where your hose gets stored. Yep. Um, so you're not mixing that in inside. We've got, you know, carpeted, insulated, it's all fancy in there. So yep. your uh, sewer hose. black water yep. sewer hose stays outside. Yep. What do we got in here? 
so this is sweet. Why don't you come in and take a look in this compartment? Um, one of the features of the new model for 24, that's a hose reel. So we've got a spot to put your fresh water hose to fill up your fresh water system on a self-retracting hose. I'll show you how to just operate this. So this would just come right out like that, roll out, you connect this to a water connection point, and then to reel it back in, you just push this button. And it's that easy. So it's a nice place to store your hose and you don't have a wet hose just lying around inside your unit. So super convenient. Um, one thing to note, this is a two axle unit. So the 24 foot long box um, requires two axles. So it's a little more nimble um, and designed to get out to more spaces. So it's not as big as the HD 30, which is the flagship unit. That is the dedicated bedroom. This is a smaller one. We'll show you the floor plan when we get inside. All right, we have our dual zone mini split for heating and cooling. Uh, same one that we have in the HD30. Super efficient, super quiet, and Matt's gonna pull it out and show you the gun. Yeah, now you don't need to pull this off. This is just a protective cover. This is designed integrated into the system, and if it ever needs to be serviced, you know, you can just pull it out like that. Service. It's very accessible, and this is a 240 volt unit, like Joanna said, two zones, so extremely efficient, SEER 21 rated, down to negative four degrees for heat. Yep and well above 100 degrees for cooling. And of course, this runs completely off grid from the energy system. I got back here. Ooh, more hoses. Yep, so this is a cord reel. So Living Vehicles got a 50 amp cord set as one of the redundant power sources. So if you're in an environment where you don't have connection to, well, connection, you don't have solar energy, like you're underneath a tree, but you do have power. <laughs> So you got a power bank or you're weathering out of winter or something like that where you need a lot of heating power, um, you would pull this out. And this is also on a cord reel. So similar kind of thing. Pull that down and to reel it up, you just push a button. That's super convenient. So love this. And then it's in its own dedicated compartment. So super easy to access and really nice from a kind of usability perspective. We love biking and we are out here and there's lots of cool paths and things to discover. So we've got our two e-bikes here. Um, a lot of our customers like to travel and adventure. So this is rated what, for 500 pounds a hitch? Yep, so this is a 500 pound hitch back here. This is a rear receiver on the back uh, designed for toys. So right now we got a couple of e-bikes on there. We charge our e-bikes of course from the living vehicle. So when we're riding around, um, and uh, we also have this new hatch back here. So this is just a hatch that accesses the back compartment. So this is kind of the pass-through compartment of the rear storage area. So you can put a lot of gear back there. Spare tire, so it's a full-size spare, exactly like you have installed on the unit right now. Uh, there is a bumper down there you can see. That's a removable bumper. So that's for DOT requirement, bring the bumper back down. But if you're ever going in terrain where you have a lot of grade changes, we haven't experienced that. Um, I've actually never removed that bumper. It's set up pretty high, um, but that's an option. Uh, let's see, a couple things you see here. We've got rear cameras. So there are four cameras all the way around the unit. Um, you can see the two solar awnings either side. We've got a couple of fins up there. There's a GPS signal for the LTE GPS locator uh, and also that transceiver for our energy system. So being able to view the energy system wherever you are. We'll show you the energy system when we get inside. And then the other one there, that's a shark fin for the LTE 5G connectivity for Wi-Fi. Um, we also install the Starlink right there. Gotta so, have Wi-Fi. Wi gotta have Wi-Fi. Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Wherever you go, <laughs> um, especially out in the woods, right? So uh, we have both. So you can mount that with a flat dish um, Starlink uh, right there in place of that shark fin. Um, or you can have, if you, you know, are in an area where you need to put that a little further away, we've got the other Starlink out and we'll show you that shortly. Got one more compartment, so not a full pass through, um, but a good amount. Yep, so we got some of our bike gear in here and we have been, you know, living out of this for a few days here off grid. Um, so just been out playing around, testing out the new model that we have. Uh, this is a connection port for raising and lowering the deck. Uh, right in front of this, we have a propane quick connect for the grill, outdoor grill, which is right on the patio. It's not connected right now, um, but that would go right up to that. Um, and this is the line for raising and lowering the deck, a couple support lines, and this is our 1,500 pound rated deck. So you could have a quite a, a nice party on here. You can see we have the kitchen island out. We've got the grill, little patio set. 
Um, so the outside does not look very different from what you're used to, but the inside is where the magic is. So yeah. we ready to go inside? Yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look inside and uh, we'll go ahead and show you around. Okay, so we said this unit is 24 feet, which means we lost some space somewhere. Uh, this is designed for couples or solo adventurers. So instead of the dedicated master bedroom, we gave you guys a walk-in gear closet, and your dedicated bedroom is going to be the Euroloft lounge combination. So why don't we show the gear closet first? Because that's kind of the primary difference of this whole thing. Yes. So come on in and let's let's show you this closet. This come into huge. our walk-in closet. This thing's pretty sweet. You know, this is a true five foot by eight foot walk-in closet. And, you know, we've got it set up right now. We've kind of cleaned up a little bit, as you can see. Um, really did a good job. And let's see, got a shelf up here, mini split. So this thing is conditioned itself. Um, so this whole thing is a second zone. Um, so this gear closet, you can store clothes. You know, this is your main closet. You've also got a lot of floor space. This is five feet by eight feet. And in this unit, we do have a washer dryer installed. And so you'll see right over here. Yeah, we've got a new, a new model. It's an LG. It is beautiful. There's a lot of stuff that can fit in here. Um, so really great washer dryer combo. Um, we've got our shelving, drawers, all of that stuff. Um, but what's really great is you can just throw a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah. Um, you know, so if you're a photographer or you're doing sports, um, you got big dogs or whatever, you can just throw all your stuff in there. There's so much space. Yeah. So our primary bedroom space, because you might not need a primary bedroom space to always be sleeping and dedicated, that's, that takes up a lot of space. Yeah. So to get a little bit more adaptability, smaller footprint, so you can take this in more places, why don't you go back there and we'll show you off the bedroom space right now. Ooh. All right, so this is going to be your primary sleeping space. So we have this Euroloft bed set up. It's rated for 800 pounds. Wow, that grew. Grew. It used to be 600. Um, so you can fit two grown adults here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a great spot here. This is awesome because it's a great little lounge. Let me take my shoes off. Um, so you can watch TV when this is up. Kind of the whole family fits here. Um, so this is designed in a way where you have a, basically dual bunk beds. Um, this bottom area is typically a lounge uh, for you know TV. You know, you've got a table here. Um, and up here, this is really your main sleeping space. So this is your guest bed. This is your primary sleeping space. So you just put this up, push a button. This goes all the way up to the ceiling. And you know maybe we can show that right now. How easy that? You know, just come over here and push that push that button. You can get a sense of. Oh, let's take the ladder off though. So. Yep. Go ahead. Pull that ladder. Super challenging. <laughs> and then you just push a button. You know, we're not going to move the pillows right now, but you get a sense of how easy it is to convert that. You know, you just go up and down. Um, you know, so you got more space as needed. So if you're using this in a lounge configuration, you want some more head clearance here. You know, for watching TV and you know, this kind of stuff, um, it can go all the way up and it's just that easy. Just push a button. And then your primary sleeping space is tuck tucked away neatly yep and again you can keep all this stuff on um so super great you don't have to throw all this in the closet and yep. take up all that space with just pillows yep um you know the new new setup here you've got a 42 inch tv 4k i've uh, got storage to either side with this really nice black walnut setup thanks babe and a lot of space you've got a speaker over there in the corner that's kind of the standard speaker we also offer a a hi-fi audio option with integrated speakers and a, a Sonos sub. Um, so that's integrated into the TV setup. So you got the surround sound audio. Um, it's just a really nice situation. So this becomes a really nice kind of hangout. And I'd say yeah. it's usually set up like this because we like this kind of chill hangout couch area. Um, you know, Luca just jumps right up. This is kind of our just chill pad. And the dining area, which is set up right now, you can actually just pan outside. Take a look at that. That's just that's on the patio. So that becomes just that extension and our main dining space is out there. This morning we were enjoying breakfast um, right in that dining space and it was just 
it was super cool, you know, to not be in the dirt and just enjoy the, the fog coming in. And then it was just really, really kind of sur surreal to be out there. Yeah, so we have the kitchen island out there right now. Typically that lives here um, in the middle of the floor. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, maybe we just show off the patio a little bit. So kitchen island, like Joanna said, this does typically live inside. Uh, this is removable. You just, you know, take it, lift it up, bring it right outside. And you've got a lot of space in here. So, you know, you got your drawers and then, you know, cutting kind of set it up made it look nice for you guys uh, this barbecue does connect down to the quick connect down below so that's coming off of the primary propane system and uh, you got some nice space out here got folding chairs that we store in the pass through down below when we're in transit and the railing all the way around it has this mesh so it kind of protects you know kids and pets keeps them inside it's a three foot high railing so really nice and that collapses so it's really easy to you know bring it pack it up get ready to go um, patio slider, of course, does have a screen. So when you're in a buggy environment, but you still want to have a lot of cross through ventilation, you know, right now we don't have the AC on, we don't have the heat on. It's just a really nice space to be in. So it's great to have this patio slider. Um, so it just really mm -hmm. lets the outdoors in. Yeah. Um, kitchen, we'll keep rolling. So we've got some stuff stocked here. So you can just kind of get an example of how much storage you have. Uh, let's see. Um, this one does not have a dishwasher installed, but if you want that option, that would just go in place of those drawers there. Um, just some fun little ways how you can kind of fancy up your space here. Mm -hmm. Want to talk about technology? Yeah, sure. Um, this is a three burner induction by True. Um, this is a really great induction stove powered by the energy system. Um, this being the Pro model, this has all the features and everything, every single piece of electric equipment can be powered by the energy system. Um, this is a tri-function oven, microwave, convection oven. So this is a true electric oven, um, all powered by the energy system. This is a hood vent. Um, all the cabinets, again, super high quality. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know, why don't you get in and just take a look at the action of this gas strut, you know, just the quality, everything's laser cut. Um, the, the tolerance on all this stuff is just phenomenal. Um, that's uh, powder coated cabinetry and everything is bolted to the walls and bolted. So the shelves have machine bolts with little hex nuts. So they are adjustable, but you can lock them in place. Why don't you show us, uh, show us the pantry? So super sturdy pantry. Um, you put a lot of heavy things in here, like jars and bottles and stuff like that. Uh, we've got some more drawers specifically for silverware. Um, this is nice and kind of deep. Um, we've got two waste baskets here, so trash, recycling. Just empty the trash for you guys so you didn't have to look at our trash. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see what we eat? Um, fridge. So we've got our ice maker here. Voila, we have ice. Uh, so this is solar powered again, of course. Um, our fridge does not always look like this, but yeah. we made it pretty for you. <laughs> yeah. We do like to drink lots of sparkling water. So it's really great. Nice big fridge. You can keep all your fruits and veggies and stay out here in the woods for a while and not have to leave um, unless you want to. Yeah, awesome. Um, I'd say that kind of wraps up the living area. Um, why don't we go and take a look at, I don't know, my favorite place is the bathroom. That's your favorite place? In the, in the LV. I mean, it's something, time. something we do really well. It's a guy thing. <laughs> okay, come on in. <laughs> All right, so we've got so much light in here right now. We have this beautiful skylight and we're under this tree. So it's really, really cool. Um, some things we don't have installed here, shelving. You can easily do that. Um, we don't have the fold down seat. That's an option if you want it. Um, got this beautiful window here. It's nice when you're in the middle of nowhere, you can have this open. There's nobody around here and you can really enjoy being in nature. Uh, we've got a bunch of storage in here. All of this stuff again, you guys have seen this before. Lots of great storage. Um, we've got an LED light on this mirror and an anti-fog. Super cool. Um, this is an electric heater and towel warmer. So anything you put on here will get nice and toasty for you when you get out of your shower. Um, and that's the bathroom. Okay, 
Okay, so that may have been the quickest tour we have ever given. Again, big change on this unit is no dedicated bedroom. You get a walk-in gear closet and the Euroloft is your main dedicated bed. Now, the best thing about this is all the other stuff, you know, from that bedroom door to the back is basically the same. I and mean, there's minor changes here and there, but like the energy system, notwithstanding the solar, you know, we have less solar we can physically fit on the roof while we do have two solar awnings. You can't put as much solar up there. Yeah, so if you've been following us for a couple of years, um, we are coming out with new models more rapidly lately. So we've yes. got bigger units, smaller units. We've got, should we tease the GT? We should tease the GT. Let's do it. We have a fifth wheel yes. model coming out. GT, gooseneck trailer. So it's yes. a gooseneck fifth wheel style setup. And uh, go to our website. You can see a coming soon page, and we'll be doing a video about that soon. But we do now accept orders for a fifth wheel. So we have a lot of other things. Everything is custom built. Um, over the years, you guys have been giving us lots of feedback, asking for different models and floor plans and things like that. And we've been busy. So uh, send us a message, livingvehicle.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at Living Vehicle. Leave a comment, subscribe. We've got a lot of videos coming your way. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.